When it comes to the winter holidays, I love nothing more than appetizers, especially if they include cheese. Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my holiday appetizers. It's cheesy and delicious and always a crowd pleaser and showstopper once you break this open. It is so delicious. We're wrapping camembert cheese with prosciutto and some fig jam and cooking it in the Blackstone air fryer. You guys are gonna really enjoy showing this one off to your friends. Before we get into it, don't forget to go to that Blackstone Products YouTube channel and subscribe now for some cheesy goodness because I am so hungry. Today we're using camembert cheese. Camembert cheese is similar to brie cheese except it's a little bit more earthy and has a ton more flavor. If you can't find the camembert cheese, you can easily pick up a wheel of brie. We'll start this off with some thinly sliced prosciutto. We're gonna line this up into a circle all around a cutting board and then open up our camembert cheese and simply place this in the center of our prosciutto. I have some fig jam. This is where you can get creative and stuff your brie or your camembert cheese with anything you like from griddled pineapple to a different kind of fruit spread, but I love the taste of fig jam with any kind of cheese. So I'm gonna pile up some fig jam on top of my wheel of cheese and then one by one pull up each slice of prosciutto, wrapping our wheel of cheese until it's completely covered and sealed in there. This way, once we stick it in the air fryer to cook, we don't want any of that cheese or fig jam to melt through. We'll preheat our Blackstone air fryer to medium. I found these cute little pizza trays at the store. They have holes in them, which is perfect for using in the air fryer. They fit perfectly. And also, since they have the holes, really help to let that air in the air fryer move around my food. So I'll stick it on there and into the air fryer it goes. This is only gonna take about 10 minutes. We'll check it in between after five minutes. You'll start to see the prosciutto tighten up and become nice and crispy and darker in color while that cheese gets all warm throughout on the inside and that prosciutto gets nice and crispy we're gonna toast up some italian bread i have a loaf of italian bread we're gonna slice thin and simply griddle up dry on the Blackstone griddle surface, just on medium high heat. I just wanna toast this bread up. I don't wanna give it any kind of oil or butter, but if you want to, you can go right ahead and do that. Two to three minutes per side on these slices of bread and they are done. We're gonna plate them up on our serving board, check on our prosciutto wheel of cheese and pull it out because it looks perfect. This is the fun part. You serve this up right on a nice cutting board and when you cut it in half, this is a showstopper for all your friends and family or your date or lover, whoever you're sharing this with. As soon as you cut it open, that cheese oozes out like some sexy goodness and you can dive right in, get that warm fig jam, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of prosciutto on each piece of bread, serve it with crackers, whatever you want. Just know that this is gonna disappear so quick. I can't wait for you guys to try it. When you do, be sure to take a picture. And if you can go the extra mile for me, get a picture or video of that cheese explosion because it is so fun for me to watch and I can't wait to see it. When you do, be sure to tag Blackstone Products and tag Blackstone Betty. I can't wait to see. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.